마치되 알리스타 오브레임 something that all Peter Ertz fans know. When you hear this music, this is old school Peter Ertz. This is Peter Ertz coming to knock someone the fire truck out. And there he is, the Lumberjacks vest, the Lumberjacks cap. And looks a little bit Indiana Jones, doesn't he? The one, the only Mr. K1, Peter Ertz. Oh, Mikey, it does it to me every time. Shivers running down my arms as Peter Ertz walks past our commentary position. The moments before a Peter Ertz fight, there is nothing quite like it to send you into an absolute frenzy. Most definitely. I mean, you know, you're looking at the history of K1, its greatness, its best representation. Mikey, this is the house Peter Ertz built. Literally. Literally. And, you know, and he's still here fighting. And just to see him in the shape that he was in is spectacular. I mean, you just, you know, you cannot get unemotional watching Peter Arch fight, watching Peter Arch come out, watching him do what he's been doing for the last over 15 years. When we see the unveiling of Alistair's body, he didn't want to take the top off yesterday during his pre-fight interviews. We're going to see it soon. A man whose muscles have muscles. <laughs> His muscles have muscles. And look at the shape of Peter Ertz now. 38 years old. By his side, Tom Herring from Chakariki. A man who led him to the 94 and 95 Grand Prix titles. Yes. Give it up for a legend. And one of the nicest guys you will ever, ever meet. This crowd on the edge of their seats. And look at the shape of Overeem. My word. You're right. He does have muscles on top of muscles. His trapezius need their own postcode. Peter Ur to brings in an overall career record. 123 fights for 95 wins. He was fighting the likes of Ernesto Hoost back in 1988. I was still in high school in 1988. Ertz was fighting Ernesto Hoost. We are ready for our semi-main event. Ertz the favourite, minus 140. Over in the outsider, plus 110. Michael Chavello, no! Mike Kogan with your inside. This one is going to be crazy. Either Alistair finishes him in the first round, or maybe Ertz leads in the deep water. First big salvo. No, no. Alistair off the bell. The right hand and the power, the aggression. 
Alistair wants to manhandle him. That's what he's doing, gut punching me, and throws him to the canvas like a piece of garbage. Just bullying Ertz. Ertz has got to start slinging the legs to slow Alistair down. Ertz, who at this stage last year pulled off an epic match to defeat Semi Schultz in one of the all time great performances in K1. Here's the hands of Gain of Alistair and the step up knee. He's just a monster. Let me reiterate again Peter Ertz has qualified for every K1 Grand Prix in history. He has never, never not been there. Liver shot outside, thigh kick from Ertz, up a gut from Alistair. Oh, and then Ertz has rattled! Alistair didn't capitalize. You saw Ertz's eyes momentarily roll up a little. I think Alistair's, you know, Alistair respects uh, Peter Arch's game. I mean, you are fighting a three time K1 World Grand Prix champion. So oh, there's he the head kick. His game. How do you kick someone who's got no neck? How do you go for a kick to the neck when he hasn't got one? Ooh, Muay Thai clinch, Ooh, a fist strike. Referee didn't see it there from Avery. Referee warns both men for clinching. The abdominals here on Overeem. He's not Adonis, he's the Donis. Alistair fighting a pretty good fight here. He's cutting, you know, he's cutting the corners. He's coming in, his defense looks sharp. That's what Peter needs to do, the bread okay. and butter stuff. Left hook outside, thigh kick again. Alistair just throws him down. Just stamping his strength and superiority here on Peter. But you know Ertz is a wily old veteran. You know he's got tricks up his sleeve. And you've got to go for the legs. You're absolutely right. Because no matter how well you train, to condition your legs is very, very difficult. Ertz has got to weather the storm here. Another high knee from Alistair. Great job so far from Alistair. Uppercut again. Ertz has got to sling the legs. Put a teeth kick, a front kick to the midsection. Keep Alistair at bay. Work the room to deliver that real leg round kick. In the 1990s, the real leg round kick of Peter Ertz was the most feared weapon in the entire fight world. A high knee from over him. Over him again, trying to press him against the ropes and set himself for the big tub thumping right hand. Ertz with the jab, trying to break open the guard. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Ertz uses the ropes to launch the high kick. This is over him land, over him territory. Oh, left hook in the bell. End of the round.